Hi everyone, it's Sheila and welcome to today's video. Well, in today's video, I received my Fisher Price uh, infant and toddler rocker and I bought these for my twin granddaughters and I've already put one together so you can see what it looks like. I'm really impressed with this so far. Um, stay tuned toward the end of the video and we will go over all the features. So let's go ahead, let's unbox this and get straight into the step one of assembly. Now I unboxed, I went over everything, I got everything laid flat in front of me. I would highly recommend that just to make it fast and easy. And the only tool you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver. So with that said, we are going to go ahead and we're going to start on step one. And step one is, it says, fit the soothing unit onto a side rail. So this is a side rail. This is going to be one of the legs. And this is the soothing unit right here. And what you do is you just line this up. And it should slide right down in there. You might have to hit it a little bit. Just work it. Um, you might have to wiggle it a little bit, but it goes right down in there. And then what you do is you take two M4 screws, is what they're calling it, and you put the screws right here. You're gonna see one screw there and one screw there. Okay, so I went ahead, I got the two screws um, inserted in there and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just lay the side rail on its side. You take the soothing and you simply just slide it in the same way that you did the other side. You just gotta put a little pressure on it and it will pop into place. And the same thing, you just put the screws in there again. So those screws are tightened up and that's the end of step okay, So we are going on to step three. And step three says fit the cross brace that is attached to the pad between the side rails. <clears throat> now the first time I put, put this together, I had a really hard time finding out where, where they were talking about. I didn't think the diagram was too clear. So what they are talking about is, if you look here, this is where the vibration machine is. Go to the opposite end and right here is what they're talking about. This is where you're going to put the cross brace. You're going to see that it fits in here and the peg will slide on there on one hole and then you're gonna put a screw in the second hole and you simply do the same on the other side. It only fits one way, so if it does not work, just simply flip the bar around and it goes in there. Okay, step four is the peg, a plastic peg went in one hole, and then the other hole, you just simply um, tighten the screw in, in that hole. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, I went ahead, I got the crossbar in there now. And we are going on to step five. In step five, it says, fit the seat back tube into the sockets in each side rail. So this is what they're talking about. So you just take the ends off right here and you fit, there's going to be little silver buttons on this and you just simply insert it in this, um, in these Hickman digs right here, and you just make sure it clicks into place, and that's it. Now this is going to be the back of your seat. Right here you'll see buttons where you can adjust that. Okay, step six is we are going to install the kickstand, and it says turn the assembly on the side, fit the kickstand assembly into the sockets in the bottom of each side rail, and then use the screws to tighten it it on its side and right here at the bottom you're going to see where the kickstand kick just simply slides in and all you have to do at this point is to put the two tighten the two screws in the holes so let's go ahead and we're going to do that okay those are nice and snug and ready to go now the kicks Kickstand can just be folded down when you need it or when you don't need it. So right now I'm just going to fold it down so it's out of the way. Okay, the 
the next step is uh, fit the upper pocket of the back of the pad onto the seat back tube. So now you just take this and you go underneath right here in the back. You just simply pull it over the back of the tube like that. And then underneath, you're going to see a whole bunch of these plastic plugs and then you will see the corresponding um, holes that they go in. So you just simply insert those in the holes. It's really simple. They just snap right in there. Easy peasy, no problem. And along the front, you will see a whole bunch of holes too. So you just snap it into place. You can tear that plastic off if you want and put that off to the side. Okay, so last step in the assembly process is to uh, install the toy bar. And all you simply do, I have it backwards, is right here. That's it. You just slide it in the hole. And when you want to take it out, you press the side and you just pull it straight out. So it comes in with, or it goes in very easily and comes off very easily when you want it. Okay guys, let's quickly go over some of the features. Now on this one, I have the toy bar attached, but I took the toy bar off so you guys could see what I'm doing. Um, this is a rocker, but you can also um, put the kick, kick stand down. And that way it stops it from rocking. So if you're dealing more with infants and you want to put them in it, it's nice and secure when that kickstand is on. Now for product demonstration, I just got a little teddy bear here. And what you do, it's self-explanatory. You just take the little seat belt restraints, you put them down, you would put the baby down, put them between the legs on each side of the baby. You just simply click it in, it is adjustable. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any C batteries, but if I did, I would insert the C batteries under here. It's very self-explanatory. It is just a vibration mode, um, and you just simply turn it on. So unfortunately, I can't go over that with you because I don't have the batteries with me. Um, and the only other thing to show you guys is right here on the side of the unit, you will see two red buttons. Right now I have it in an upright position, but if you wanted to put it back, you could take it back even more. So this is the Fisher Price Grow With Me Rocker. This can go from birth up to 40 pounds. And then when the child's older, they can just simply use it as a rocker. Okay, so that's it. That's all the features on this. I am happy with this and I can't wait to get my little twin granddaughters in here and see what they think of it. Um, if you guys have bought this, please leave in the comment section what you think of it. Um, I personally think I'm going to like this and I think my granddaughters are going to like it. And I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and a like and a share and a subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you on my next video. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.